Hi, thanks for watching. Today we're going to be talking about Roots by Alex Haley. He it was an American author and this was originally published in 1976. It was later made into a miniseries in, I believe, 1977 and then again in 2016. The plots of the miniseries are quite different from that of the book. And I'm using the term book because this is a work that's a little difficult to classify. Haley referred to it as a novelized account of his family's oral history, which traced them from their first ancestor that arrived from the Gambia, Africa in the 18th century until his own birth in 1921 and childhood and life thereafter. Now, notwithstanding some of the claims of not quite being accurate or plagiarism, it's impossible to deny the cultural impact of this work because it reawakened a sense of interest in genealogy and it really brought to life a focus on the intergenerational trauma and the importance of knowing the slave history of America, pardon me, I meant slave holding history of America. So I'm going to look at it just from that point of view. Now, this is a very well-written story and it would be easy to read because it's clearly written in good prose, but it's difficult to read because it covers a lot of difficult subject matter. It begins in 1750 with the birth of Kunta Kinte. He is a child born to a family in the Gambia, West Africa. And the book covers his childhood and life in his village until he's captured by slaves and brought to the US. Now, what's interesting about this book is that Haley seems at time to be speaking to white readers because he does throw in a lot of tidbits in there seeming to reinforce the fact that his family does not hate white people. But at the same time, he does not shy away and nor should he have from the atrocities that were committed during the slave trade and slaveholding in America. And what makes this novel, what makes someone able to complete reading this novel is the fact that the characters are so strong and so well written. Now, despite the indignities they suffer, their inner dignity and their pride and their belief in uh, regain, keeping that sense of family alive through their ancestor and sh take, sharing the story of their family through the generations is really what helps them survive. So that is something that really spoke to me and it really emphasizes the importance of keeping history alive and keeping history alive, not just from the point of view of the victors, but from people who experienced injustice and atrocities. So it's a long book. It covers six generations from Kunta Kinte, his daughter and the generations thereafter. And at the end is an account of Haley's research and how he came to confirm the history of his family. Again, if that's something you're interested in knowing more about, Google's right there and it's great to know. And I'd also encourage you to check out the 2016 miniseries. I haven't yet, but I will be doing so. Thanks for watching.